Hello and welcome to another episode of QA Bootcamp. My name is Dan Campbell. I will be your QA Sherpa through this tumultuous mountain range we call Video Game QA. Thank you so much for joining me and today I will be answering a question asked by Grundy on the last video that we uploaded. It says, you brought up a good point about QA not blasting the dev team with impressions. Is there typically a lot of tension between the two teams? I imagine the devs don't like hearing their code or programming is flawed. Well, thank you so much for asking the question, Grundy, and uh, we will go ahead and jump into that right now. So one of the best things to do and one of the best things to keep in mind whenever you're writing your bugs uh, is to make sure to keep them as factual as you possibly can to keep the developer from uh, being upset by anything you may have said. Uh, you know, Because it's natural for them to be defensive whenever a bug is brought to them because basically you're pointing out what is effectively a mistake that they may or may not have made. Uh, to illustrate my point, here we are in good old Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, there's this incredibly minor bug right here where there are some plants that have been placed inside of these uh, blankets and pillows. There's also these leaves over here that we could use, but for the sake of brevity, we're gonna go ahead and just use these alone. So there's two ways to bug this. First, we'll go ahead and go over the way you probably should not bug it. You would uh, naturally want to take a screenshot and get the location from the map, or if you are lucky enough to have development tools, have exact coordinates uh, for the debug tools. Okay, so let's take a look at this bug real quick, and the way we've written it up is obviously incorrect, but let's go ahead and step through it. Uh, obviously, you would have to fill all this out and include a screenshot of the bug, but let's ignore that for now. Issue. At the above location, there is a rather ugly plan that has been misplaced inside of some blankets and pillows, breaking the immersion for the player. This is very ugly and needs to be fixed ASAP. So let's go ahead and uh, take a pause on that and, uh, and imagine why a developer might not like this. At the above location, there is a rather ugly plan. Your opinion doesn't really need to be in this and whether it's ugly or not, but just let's go ahead and ignore that and say, is a plan that has been misplaced inside some blankets and pillows, breaking the immersion for the player. Let's just go ahead and say that is inside some blankets and pillows. Saying that it's been misplaced means that, you know, it's probably pointing the finger and saying, hey, you did this on purpose and it is wrong. Breaking the immersion for the player. That's again, kind of, you know, your opinion man and you don't really need to put it in there so let's just go ahead and delete all that blankets and pillows it's very factual next line is this is very ugly and needs to be fixed asap again this is your opinion and doesn't really isn't really relevant to the bug and plus whether it needs to be fixed asap or fixed at all really isn't the call of qa it's the call of production or some other team it's not usually the call of qa whether the bug should or should not be fixed so here we've taken a bug that was about two sentences long and full of opinions that could easily offend and piss off a developer, and we've made it very factual. At the above location, there's a plant inside some blankets and pillows. This is what you're aiming for. Very factual, in no way pointing a finger and blaming. Uh, and yes, you do need to be this careful with some developers. A lot of them aren't so bad. They don't mind as much whenever you write up a bug and show them that there's something wrong with what they've done or something wrong in their particular area of responsibility. But there are some that you do have to walk on eggshells around and you need to be very careful about not upsetting these developers because no matter how much I hate to admit it, QA is considered far more expendable than a developer. So if a developer were to raise a stink saying, hey, I really, really hate this QA person and I want them to go, it's probably not going to happen, but the odds of it happening are not zero. So anyway, the best analogy I have to put here is if you were on the street walking down the road and your fly was open, your zipper was undone, how would you want someone to point it out to you? Would you want someone to point and laugh and scream, oh my god, his fly is undone, look at that, look at the idiot with his fly undone? You wouldn't want this. Instead, you would want them to quietly and discreetly tell you in a nice way, hey, I think your uh, fly is undone, you may want to zip that up. It is sort of the same thing whenever you're pointing out bugs for developers. They don't want to hear how terrible this mistake they made is. They just want a factual representation of what is wrong and, and that's pretty much it.
So anyway, thank you very, very much for the question. I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I will do my best to address them. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.